In En-ROADS, there are three different methods that you can use to display vertical alignment annotation. I'm going to demonstrate those three methods, and in doing so, I'm going to highlight where the symbology comes from when you use each of these three methods. So I already have a profile out here, and I'm just going to delete the current vertical alignment so that I can redisplay it. The first way that I want to demonstrate is simply using the command geometry, view geometry, active vertical. You can see here that the vertical alignment is displayed with a symbology that's red in color. So where is that coming from? Well, if we take a look at the style that's associated with this vertical alignment, and we can do that by going to geometry, active geometry, you can see that our vertical alignment has a style assigned to it named default. So let's go take a look at that default style in the Style Manager. I'll click Edit. And I'm going to go down to the Geometry feature. And let's just take a look at the arcs for this example. If we go to Arcs and then Symbology, if I go in and edit that Symbology, you'll see that my profile line is set to red. Now if I go in and change that to something else, for example yellow, and apply these changes, now when I go back into Geometry, View Geometry, Active Vertical, our profile line has changed to yellow. Now the second method is to use the command Geometry, View Geometry, Vertical Annotation. In this command, for each of the different components, the points, the curves, the tangents, etc., you can set it right here on the dialog itself. So we'll go into our curves here, and we'll change that to blue, click Apply, and you can see that our curves here have come in as blue. So the trickiest of the three is when you want to set up your vertical alignment to auto annotate. Now you set that up by going to Geometry, View Geometry, Options, and toggling on the Annotate Vertical Elements option. We'll click Apply and Close. Now what this does is when you have your vertical alignment displayed, if you go in and make a change, such as moving a PI, your annotation automatically updates to reflect this change. So we can watch that again. You can see that changing. But the question is, how do we define the symbology for this? And again, this is a little more complicated. It has to do with, first of all, the style that's assigned to the vertical alignment, but it also has to do with the preference in the vertical annotation here. So let's first create a new style, and we'll do that by going to Tools, Style Manager, we're going to create a new style, and I'm just going to call that style Vertical. I'll click Apply, and Close, and now the next thing we want to do is set up our symbology in the View Vertical Annotation dialog. So let's go ahead and change the color of our curves. This time we'll make them pink and click OK. And here's the important part. You're going to want to save this preference as the same name as the style that you've just created. So we'll go into Preferences. 
and save as and we'll save this as vertical and click OK and close. Now you can see we do get the pink curves here. However, when we go in and view the active vertical, they're still yellow. That's because there's one more change that we still have to make. We have to go into geometry, active geometry, set our type to vertical alignment, and we're going to change that style to vertical and click apply. So let's see if it works now. Geometry, view geometry, active vertical, and it does.